Hey guys, it's Crystal Lee Moore Lucier here, also known as your home sweet home 509 realtor, Crystal Lee Moore. And I'm here to talk to you about spring. Spring in the real estate market and spring in general as a homeowner, future homeowner, um, wherever you are on the spectrum, spring is here. Hopefully, it felt like it was here today. It will be coming soon. So what does that mean? Firstly, just to get rid of a, a bit of a, a curiosity of a lot of people. When we say real estate spring, we don't actually mean when the season spring has started. Spring in the real estate market starts in mid-February. Uh, there were some anomalies in 2021 and 2022 where it was just insane all the time, but usually it's a little bit quiet and then kind of mid-February it starts to pick up again. This is what we have seen lately. There are more houses being sold, multiple offers are coming back, and it really is just as the weather gets warmer, this is where the market heats up. And that is even though interest rates have come up and there's been a bit of a market correction. So that's what real estate spring means. Homeowner spring though, as it gets warmer and nicer outside, brings with it some really great things that you can do to make sure that you are keeping your investment in great shape. And for future homeowners, this is something that you can start to get used to, just taking a peek around the house or the condo that you're in and letting your landlord know if there's anything that needs to be done. You'll be very happy that you're used to it when you own your home. So firstly, you want to make sure um, when you're going around that if, if there's anything that you think might need attention, uh, check the roof, check the downspouts, check the eaves shafts. We use Shack Shine to come and they will they'll clean our siding, they'll, check, they'll clean out the eaves troughs. Um, it's really great because your house really needs to look a little nicer than it has over the past winter. Um, another thing, getting your windows cleaned can be really great. Changing outdoor light bulbs can really make all the difference. These are things that we don't want to do when it's like minus 20. So as it's warmer, it's a great time to do it. And even things like cleaning your front door. A lot of times we don't think about that, especially because if you do try to clean um, a storm door in the winter, it's really tough to do. But as it gets warmer, that's a great time. Um, and things that, that are inside the house, number one, always be decluttering. It is, we talked about it before, but decluttering will help you feel that your house is bigger and brighter. You can, you don't have to throw things out. You can donate them, you can give them away. Um, but if you don't need them, there's no need to keep them. Side note, I just watched David Attenborough's um, A Life on Our Planet on Netflix. I recommend that everyone watch it. I was already kind of a environmental, enthusiast before but I really am devoted to sustainable um, a sustainable lifestyle and trying to reduce my carbon footprint even more so I would definitely recommend watching it but decluttering is really important and then just the safety things in your home make sure that your um, any smoke detectors are are current in their battery life and change your furnace filters. We get Peter Engine Associates to do maintenance on our furnace and our fireplace. And it's a really in our HVAC, like our, our air conditioner. Um, but it's important to get that done. As a, as a homeowner, the life of your furnace will be extended if you take care of it. I've seen furnaces that last years and years and years because they were maintained. And then new furnaces that don't work anymore after like seven or eight years because they weren't maintained. So learn the lessons from people that have come before you. Um, another thing that's really important to do is just make sure that things like your water filter in your fridge, your air filter in your fridge, whatever it is, um, these are all great things. Just have a checklist. If you need a checklist, we can provide you with one. But little things just to make sure you are protecting the investment that you worked so hard to get. So I hope that was helpful. If you have questions about the London market or what's been happening, if you'd like a value on your home, we are here to help. And I hope everyone's having a fantastic, fantastic 2023 so far. Look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day. Thank you.